Hey everybody, me again, Channel Practical Power Cool. Today's video, I'm gonna show y'all how to sling the way I sling, y'all. We'll call it baseball style. Let's do it. So, when you pitch, all right, I pitched a little bit, you know, back in the day. You know, it wasn't really like a major pitcher, but I did learn how to do it all through since little league to high school, you know. But uh, basically, this is how we pitch. This is what I was taught on the pitcher's mound, right? Say this is the mile, get your signal, get back, bring your leg up. Ah! All right, you know, follow through. You know, that's how you pitch. Okay, now we'll dissect it a little bit from this away. Okay. You're stepping back and you're coming up. When you come up, this is when you're gonna bring that power. When you swing that leg over, ah! You swing it over, twist your hips, and then your whole body, that shoulder's gonna wanna bounce, you know? Yeah, that's the most of a throw. If you were just on a pitcher's mound, and you was like, just throwing, you're not gonna throw nearly as fast, y'all. When it comes to slinging, you know, don't sling, I mean, I guess you can. Slinging at a target's fun, but me, when I sling, like I said, I like shooting guns, y'all. Like, like it wouldn't be fun if I'm just slinging slow all the time. I want to be able to hit something and knock it out or, you know, because it's more than just accuracy, I believe, when it comes to slinging. Because if you throw it fast enough, you might not hit the target exactly where you want to, but you'll cripple it for sure. Anyway, all right. So with that being said, really, the style of slinging I do this, there's a couple important but the ones I already think of is pretty much three. Three important, three important moves. All right, let's go through my style. Let's just, let me just do a couple slings. All right. Okay. Spin, spin, spin. Kind of see how it resembles baseball? Because when you're doing this, you got your signal. You know, you're turning, but you're still, you still, you, you're not just throwing it fast, you know, because you got to throw it. It's like a, it got to be one smooth motion, okay? But you want to do as much as you can. Baseball, people pitching baseball the fastest way the human body's going to throw something. That's a fact, right? You know? So when I'm slinging, when I'm slinging, all right, when I'm thinking of everything, because sometimes, y'all, I just be, you know, just playing around, you know, but when I'm really focused, you see me breathe, I'm thinking, all right, you know, you know, push off the back, push off the back, you know, spin your leg out, but that pause, you can't forget the pause, right? And when you're slinging, your sling actually gonna determine when you're gonna throw, you know, cause you're going down with the rock, cause you want, you want both of y'all to end up at the top together. You feel what I'm saying? You feel what I'm saying? Uh, uh. I don't know if y'all can see that pause right before I let go. You know what I'm saying? That pause is very important because most people that sling, you know, heavier slings, they, the balls like to pull low to the left. If you, do, if you put that pause in it, that low to the left turns into right in the middle, y'all. Right in the middle. All right. So spin it over your head. You're feeling the, the rock in the pouch or the tennis ball or just your slick. It's just your momentum. All right? That's the way to go. All right. Another thing I do is to just, you know, I guess I learned it because of the baseball glove. You know, I like to keep my elbow like that. You know, I'm usually like this, you know. Now, with that being said, it's kind of a tactical way of slinging, y'all. If you have an enemy coming up on you, and you don't see them, if you, bam, you know, you still kind of blocked your face when you slunk, you know, you threw your rock, you're ready for whatever, you know. All right, and one of the biggest misconceptions people are starting to say now, nah, because my elbow hurts all the time, right? My style of slinging won't hurt your elbow. When it, if you throw it soft, just throw it soft, bro. That's the beauty about a sling. It gives you so much power you don't have to throw it that hard for the dude it got to do. 
because most of the power feels like it's coming from your lower body, the bigger part of your body. You're just trying to time it right with the top. Watch how slow I do this. I could throw like that the rest of my life till I'm an old man. My elbow will never hurt again, y'all. You know, you don't have to throw fast, but see me, you know, I like that razzle down. You know what I'm saying? My arm hurts because of my bad mistakes. You could throw like I throw without hurting your arm. Just use your lower body, because honestly, the people that have been telling me of their arm hurting, their feet, when they swinging, you know, their feet might not move, but like, you know, like this. And then they like just, they falling with it, you know? No, you want to be, you want, you want distance. I know it, it seems weird for people who don't throw, but if you put that in your arsenal, you throw way freaking further, y'all. No, it ain't the most exciting video, but I just wanted to get that across to y'all. Um, hope I explained it enough. I got a lot of other videos of me showing you how to throw. But this is one I think that people should know. I got one more thing I need to show you, all right? All right. When I'm throwing tennis balls, all right? I know I said it before, but when I'm throwing tennis balls, I'm not aiming for the center. I'm aiming for the center, but I'm letting go right here. Like if, if it was a scope, my scope would be like this, I guess you could say. You know what I'm saying? I'm aim, throwing right here, but aiming right here. I don't know if that makes sense, but this is, when I'm slinging, this is where I'm aiming at. Like if, like I'm thinking of, I got my sling. No, literally, I'm letting go right here. Look at anybody slinging. And if you notice, right when they let go, I could look at somebody just slinging, and I can tell them if it's a good throw or not. Just, just for where you let it go. Because I'm not throwing pitching, you throwing right here. All right, slinging, you throwing right here. You know what I mean? That's why a single strand sling, they're so light. When you're spinning it, the string isn't tight. You know, when, when I'm spinning my slings, that little weight, it makes a little noise, but it's not now, if I had a real long sling, and if I was spinning like this, it's gonna spin, you know, it's gonna spin with like a little gap in it. So when you let it go, it ain't gonna act right. Um, so yeah, when you, sling, when you sling with tennis balls, aim like that. Now, when you sling it with something heavier, like a baseball, then you just, it's gonna be just aiming for the target, but you're gonna feel the weight, and that weight's gonna kinda help you with it. You know what I'm saying? Hope that made sense today. Hope y'all like what y'all seen. If you did, don't forget to like, subscribe, tell a friend. And when you do, tell them that notification bell. Hey. Practical pair record. Hey, you don't want to miss it. Keep you entertained. You know that we talking slinging. Catch them in Louisiana. Sling King. Find them down south. Slinging giants like it's David and Goliath. Uh, make sure you subscribe now. All the slinging techniques. Slinging so hard I could kill a beast. Come and check me. Hey, I know that you gon' like it for sure Make sure that you tune in to Practical Paracord Let's go